My dear Eliza, uh, maybe I'm not pronouncing your name right, but this is how I see it and this is how uh, the demons tells me that I need to call you. You have the most beautiful name and this name represents um, you know, quietness and beauty over flowers and the wind and in the underworld you are actually very hidden and protected it's like you have this ring of guardian demons with wings that are protecting you so uh, you are not really seen so when people try to go to the underworld to look for you it's not so easy so i'm glad that you give me this opportunity to read for you because it's such a pleasure to be in your energy your energy is exceptional it's very empathic it's quiet it's healing i know i told you already that you're a healer but i don't think you understand how strong your energy even though it's very quiet and it's very um, gentle but even being in your presence it's already healing that's why sometimes people might fall asleep in your presence or they become quiet because you ground them you calm them down you bring peace and this is the purpose of your life and purpose of your energy is to be a healer to everyone who come into your life like you know, like when Jesus would walk and people would touch his robe, so they would become healed. It's exactly how your energy feels to me. It's like if you can touch your energy, you just heal right away. So um, this is something I really wanted to tell you because it's very unusual. And having this energy, it's a gift in itself because you don't need to learn how to heal people. You just need to practice. And the more you practice, the more you realize how you can use your energy and what it is, what it is and how you can feel it. I know you had a few questions for me, so I'm going to, I'm going to use uh, Tarot. I already shuffled it, shuffled it and prepared it for you, so I'm going to pull a few cards for your first question. Your first question was, what alien lineage do you come from? Uh, because I mentioned that you're not from here, uh, and I wonder if the cards are going to tell me where you're from. Uh, this is very unusual card. This is actually when I'm asking about, first of all, this is the major arcana, so it's very important. The question is very important for you. And the chariot card always tells me that the action is needed to be from your side. So if you really want to learn about your ancestors, about where you come from, your lineage, your alien blood, you have to seek the answers yourself because they want to know you. They want to tell you, you know, like in person. So I do recommend you to go and do your research, find books on different alien entities and look for the answers because if there is something I'm going to tell you, I'm probably going to confuse you more. I don't, think, I don't think that you need someone to tell you what you are because you find it yourself easier. Also, if I'm going to tell you now what alien lineage you're from, I might confuse you because I don't think that I even know where you're from. I'm not even sure that i've ever met anyone like you even though i've met a few aliens uh, in my practice so i'm not gonna tell you anything i want you to look the answers for yourself and i think there's going to be two lineages that you're going to come across probably you already know one like you have suspicions that you probably like this type of alien or, or that and whatever it is you think it's true and there is another it's uh, this one that you sure of this is from your mother's side and your father's side you have to find yourself it's something that's not in your um life yet uh it's not the alien race that you're aware of so you need to do your research because with this research will come more answers for you so be active like ask questions because they're going to send you guidance that you actually need your second question is what type of craft and tools uh, should you be focusing on this is an interesting question because i do believe that you need to focus on your energy and healing and how to use it for people but i also curious what the cards are going to tell me Okay, this is very interesting because um, this card actually represents that you need to focus on something that comes from your bloodline. So if you know if any uh, people in your bloodline were practicing something, this is exactly what you should do. For example, if your grandma used to read like tea leaves, that's what you should start with. Uh, if someone was doing like witchcraft, this is, you, this is something that you should practice as well so look for things that were done and practiced in your bloodline this is 
something that you need to begin with. So that's the beginning of your craft. The obvious card, the top of the deck. Oh, five of Wands. Something from your past lives. And I know you had past life as a priestess of Apollo. So usually the work of a priestess is to worship a deity. So for me, when I see something like this, it tells me that you need to create an altar and choose the deity and start the deity work. So if you want to heal people, you probably need to work with specific spirit or a specific deity that you're going to connect with and always work until you grow into your power and you start changing. So this is something you should consider. If you don't have an altar, you should create one like really soon. Uh, I'm gonna pull two more cards. This is interesting. Two ones. You need to work with dark energies and light energies. It's like you have to find a balance. You see this card, even if it's reversed or upright, it always shows the choices. And because it was um, it was shown to me like this, I feel like you may be ignoring the darkness and you're concentrating on the light like being the worker of the light but i feel like right now you should start with the darkness and then go back to the light so you need to find balance in both so also i want to mention when i see a card like this i also feel like if there's something that you're actually scared of and something that you're avoiding on purpose like maybe hexes or love magic this is something you should start as well and concentrate on so whatever it is you're scared of and you never tried you should start with this Ace of Wands uh, also it should be something new, but something that you already like. So, for example, if you've been watching like my channel or somebody else's channel, whatever it is that resonates with you the most and you like to watch the most, like for example, candle box reading on, or like tarot cards, or if someone doing like smokes crying, that's what you should do. I feel like there is a lot of um, feminine energy coming through the cards, so it tells me that you should concentrate on something like very feminine. Uh, and something very beautiful so working with fire candles uh, flowers things like that uh, and i'm probably going to pull the last card to see what it tells me knight of cups reverse so yes uh, you shouldn't be working with masculine aspects so don't work with alchemy or sigils at this moment maybe later and don't use the energy of the sun because it was reversed uh, use the energy of the moon so again uh, very uh, light aspects of magic so if if you choose to work with witchcraft because you can do that too uh, use um, something like for protection grounding for love and abundance and for changing life of, pe of people for the better this is where you should start and definitely the energy like energy is it's definitely for you i prepared uh, a candle for you like a special candle because i've noticed uh, how amazing your energy is and how empathic you are and you're such an energy being right so energy is everything for you so i prepared this candle it's it says um achishayu which means um it's uh cleansing and it's the candle that actually brings harmony love and it will give you the energy that you lack at the moment because I feel like you're hiding, hiding a lot and you're hiding your energy. So I got this candle for you. It's a handmade. So it's, it's already with the spell. And I want to use it for you. So you can change a little bit your energy. And maybe this candle, while watching it, it help, it help you to change a little bit. Because your energy is very feminine. But I also feel the need for you to become more strong when it comes to your healing practice. I think you are scared of uh, getting clients and you're scared of starting on your own because you don't feel that you deserve it. Because people who are truly talented, they always, always um, hiding. They always question everything. So I hope this candle is going to bring you the power that you need, the confidence that you need love that maybe you're lacking because you don't love yourself enough and i don't think that you believe in yourself enough so i will start this candle for you and it will be like a tiny spell on my table for you so this candle will bring you different energies changes like the strengths that we all need sometimes and it's gonna bring you all the things that you feel you lack even though you're not 
you are everything you're perfect and you see how this candles are melting and like crazy fire is going on my table so even though a lot of people think that you're very gentle and you're very um nice and calm but the fire that you have inside the things that you can do are crazy you know you have perfect balance of the light and the dark and you can use them both and even if you don't believe in yourself the universe believes in you the entities your ancestors the aliens that are still connected to your soul they still believe in you and they're there to support you so i hope all your dreams come true and i hope you start being who you are and you're no longer gonna hide and the fire that guides you will never stop and will never become weak thank you so much for giving me this opportunity to read for you and i hope you know that you're guided and protected and i hope you know that you can do everything that i can and it is your choice in this lifetime to become who you are it is your choice to be connected to your aliens and it is your choice to believe in your path and i also want to tell you that being a part of an alien race it's such a difficult task it's very difficult to carry and it's very difficult to connect to and i also want to tell you that being an alien means that you can channel alien entities and you can go into astral and all of these things that you can do are very difficult to do for mortals so maybe this is something that you should consider doing too channel entities especially alien beings and help people to reconnect with them this is something that you can be really good at thank you so much for giving me this opportunity to do a reading for you and i wish you all the best on your journey and i hope that you become the person that you want to be